Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ghost Recon Wildlands in Itaqua province of Bolivia with Gazbeard. And we're here at, what is it, Itaqua Alpha, the provincial cent or central provincial a rebel outpost up in the mountains. We've got to decide what we're going to do and I think... We've already been to that one. Um, we'll go have a look at this unknown location. We'll head down, we'll get that skill point, check out this unknown location. Come and get that accessory case, check out this unknown location. And that will then be pretty much all of the northern half of the map cleared out. And we can come across here to Pantoja or Pantoya and check out this area which has got a couple of rebel missions for us to do another skill point to pick up and a kingslayer file now we very likely will not get all of that done in the current play session but we'll get as much of it done as we can now please do me a favor and if you are enjoying the series please give the videos a like Where's that? It's up over there, is it? I guess we've got to go up that road and across. I don't see another route. Oh, and we'll do it on foot. Why not? Um, yeah, if you're enjoying the videos, please give them a like. And do leave your comments and observations down below. And remember to subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to grow the channel, get to... At least 500 subscribers by the end of the year. Ah, right. Okay, we're discovering hidden buildings. That are not marked on the map. It doesn't look like there's anything in here. Interesting. Hmm, okay. Uh, I think we'll go along the ridge top. Be the easiest traversal route. Um, yeah, so now what's happening with um, my channel and the videos on my channel? The eagle eyed among you will have noticed that at the beginning of this video I've introduced a couple of age rating badges for uh, the first few seconds of the video, which is basically to tell you that none of my videos are directed at children. They're all for teenagers and upwards, and in fact the stats on my channel provided by YouTube verify that this is what's happening. And this of course is in response to the American Federal Trade Commission applying its COPPA, um, Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, rules against YouTube and fining them a couple of million dollars for collecting information about children via persistent cookies and stuff. Now, can I get down there without injuring myself? Um, in order to serve them targeted adverts and for YouTube to then make more money because of course I don't make a single penny off my videos right now because in February 2018 along with millions of other small channels YouTube demonetized us because we did not have what they saw as being a minimum number of subscribers and a minimum number of hours watched per year to be worthy of having adverts on our channels and this came effectively two years after I'd established my channel, during which time I had been able to make a little bit of money. Not a lot, just a little bit. It was about 30, 35 pounds. Um, my channel's grown significantly since then compared to what it was. Um, but I'm still not making huge amounts of money. Guns down. We don't need to frighten these people. Or rather, I'm still not a large channel, I should say. I'm making zero money at the moment. 
Um, because the channel is demonetized. Well, it's interesting steps there. I wonder if they lead to anything. Hmm. Hold on. Sorry about that, I had to mute the microphone. I just had a a big sneeze creep up on me, and you did not want that in your ear. Feels like I'm getting a cold, to be honest. Now, we've got to investigate this area. We did come past it in the car a couple of episodes ago. And they were busy playing football and stuff. Uh, Santa Catalina Chapel. Uh, anything in here? Like there's a document at the back of the church. Uh, take the legend. Legend acquired. The Wipala flag. View the document. Kingslayer files, maybe. Uh, oh, there we are. Wipala flag. Wipala is an indigenous emblem in the Andes. It's a seven-color flag with a checkered pattern, each color related to a natural or religious element. Its origin is confusing and different versions exist, each depending on what part or ethnic group of the Inca Empire it represents. Since 2009, the Aymara version has officially become the dual flag of Bolivia, along with the classic red, yellow and green banner. It now stands as a symbol of ethnical diversity. Okay, we've still got two of these to get. Right, um, back. Oh, we need to... What am I doing? We need to look at the map, because we need to decide where we're going. Uh, we're heading down there. And we're going to take the cross-country route to get down there, because it'll be quicker. And then we'll lift a car off somebody when we get down here, I think, is going to be the way that we do it. What are we doing there? What's going on? Game is being really janky on me today. Right, there we go. Hey, ¿qué pasa? Anything else in this area? Well, there's a couple of cars and stuff, but we don't want them. Move. Um, yeah, down there's where we're going. Nothing like a bit of cross-country running to get the blood pumping in the mornings. That also means we come into contact with people we don't want to meet on a less regular basis as well. Yeah, we can get across there and down here. It looks like... Oh no, there is three of them. I was going to say, it looks like there's only two of the guys following me. That would have been annoying. Oh, Hostiles right. in the area. Stay frosty. We got a few Sicarios here, near the crate of medical supplies. Yeah. Okay. Roger. Let me get in position. I need a better position. Target acquired. Ready to fire. Target down. I cleared the area. Clear over here. There's a crate of medical supplies, he said, so that's good. That's supplies for us to tag. Up. Santa Blanca's out in force. Tag it this side? Yep. We'll leave a marker so the rebels can pick up the supplies later. Um, now, are we going down there? Quick look at the map. 
we could go down there or we could just take this jeep and I think taking this jeep is the option guys drive. all aboard nice jeep this i'm in let's go yeah nice jeep get out of the way taxi and of course my driving's crap because i'm driving on the wrong side of the road we drive on the other side of the road in the uk yeah, now we've got hostiles here in this building as well. Should be a, a good building to take out. Whoa. We've got an entire hostile village here. Just take a quick look at the map. Where are we at? Oh, why are we up there? We're supposed to be down here. So we've failed to take a turning somewhere. We've got to get that other one done before we come to this one. got Unidad forces down there somewhere and I would prefer to have them out of the picture if possible because we don't want them coming to reinforce Santa Blanca at the location where we're going to be attacking them um, let's see if we can go clear them out Of the, the drone out now. There they are. Just spotted one with submachine guns. That makes five. Five of them. Whoa. We definitely want them out. Um. Getting a position. Get rid of him. Moving to a good site. Get rid line. of that one. And Ready. I think, Call the shot. I think we'll switch to this. Don't have a shot. Still don't have a great shot. Damn it, they're going to call in reinforcements, aren't they? Why is he not going down? Got him. One left. Got him. Oh, good. We all in one piece. Blew their car up, so bye bye any ammunition that was down. Although there is supplies down there. Let's see if we can tag them. Army unit up ahead. That's going to complicate things. All right. What was the weapon that we just saw on the floor? A Mark Two Four Nine. Hmm. Nah. We we'll stick with the SLR. Right. Let's reload that. Reload that. Go 
go find our jeep. Where is our jeep? Did somebody come and steal our jeep, did they? Oh man! That's a bummer. Well, let's just make sure we got the right place marked on the map. Oh, there's a helicopter here that we can get. Right, we're going to that unknown location first. So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wind your neck in. 300 meters to the the place that we're going. And looks like we're going to have to come in from the road. Otherwise, we've got no cover. We've got some hostile activity. Yeah. They've got a a roadblock there. Let's have the drone up. Got one guy there. Okay, what have we got down here? I see a second target, and baby makes three. Marking a captain. There's still one that we haven't found. I think he might be inside the... Oh, not there he is. Right. That's all of them. Just move in a little bit tighter. These guys marks. Got it, moving. Let me get a good sight line. Got the target. Good to go. Fuck, we're made. That's not a problem yet. That was a very American style of shooting. Brits are normally much more precise. Like that. Got one left to get. Let's hope he doesn't radio it in before we can get him. Go get some ammo. Damn, I love this job. Yeah. Get some ammo and we've got a helicopter there. That's good. It looks like there's a load of supplies in this building as well. Can we get in there? No. 
We're going to have to go around, come in a different way. Looks like this is it. Kick, kick the door. supplies here. There we are. Radio supplies. And I think that's all of the radio supplies. Right, let's go find that skill point, which is down here somewhere. Must be down near those graves. There's a cartel commendation here. Skill point, excellent. Nothing else here? No. Right, well, let's take the chopper and get up to that village. I got it, I'll fly. While we're waiting for the troops to get in, let's just go see where we're going. Right. We want that accessory case, but we've got to scout out this whole town first. I think we're going to have to go overfly the town and land beyond it up on this hilltop. And I think about there. Come on. We can land up here. Yeah, that would be better. Then we can drop back down to the town. Oh yeah, no, I remember this. We pretty much have to go in the front door going to be pretty difficult to get in any other way, although we might be able to get in from up here. Can't remember if that shack has any occupants or not. Let's have a look. Yeah, nothing up here. Good. Okay, now. We need to scout this town or this village before we go in. Best way to do that is going to be the drone. Get the drone down there. What can we see? There's one guy there. Got another tango. I got two, a third. Two down there. Getting out of range there. Here's target number five. Don't know what that white square is telling me. I think that must be some sort of mission that we get later. Might not want to go in here right now. And a sniper. Yeah. Um, I think we've got to get something from somewhere else before we go into there. Is there a document on the map that we've got to get? No, but there is that uh, accessory case which I would like to have. Hmm. I think there's a if I remember rightly, there's a prisoner in this village that we've got to free. So we're going to need to go and investigate somewhere else. 
Um, I think we'll head up and get that Kingslayer file up there. We'll come back to this once we've been tasked with doing it. Story mission. Stop and tag the Santa Blanca convoy. Reach Al Polito's garage and steal his sports car. Yeah. Um, let's... Like I say, let's go get that Kingslayer file and let's do these side missions. Um, get that skill point and check out this unknown location up here. While we've got the helicopter, we might as well make use of it for doing these big cross-country um, jumps. Come on, drive. In you get, guys. Come on. There's more guys down there as well that we would have had to take out. We only identified maybe half the uh, Santa Blanca in that village, so... This one. Where are we going to land it? It's kind of tricky to find a landing spot. That side, that church is looking best. Well, I think we might be able to get it put down here. spotted. Now yeah, we'll make use of this graveyard. Right, we've got military down there somewhere. below this cliff. Got ammunition down here. Tell the drone out, see what we can spot. Tango Mark, he's a little close to civilians. Moving to position. I need a better position. Copy. Target marked. Ready to fire. Got him. Gets them out of the way. Well, that was messy as shit. No, it wasn't. That was nice and clean. No alarm raised. Oops. Right. So let's get down, leave our helicopter up there out of the way so that it's not going to get involved in anything. There's supplies down here somewhere. wonder if they're inside that house. Or are they in these ruins? Well, they're not in these ruins. They're definitely across the the way there. There they are. Don't mind us, we're just tagging your supplies. Um, ammunition? Yeah. We'll just help ourselves to your ammo as well. Not fully loaded. Right, now there's a document in that building up there.
Yeah, get out of here. I want that document. Hold on. Camaradas, hermanos, fellow cocaleros. I look at your faces and I see the scars the men of the Santa Blanca have left on this land. Stealing our coca. Threatening our way of life. Burning you know our house. shit like this and still call themselves soldiers? Burning our children. Fuck that. A trail of ash and blood. The blood of the people of Bolivia. The same blood that was running in the veins of Tupac Katari. The great Aymara leader who fought the Spanish conquistadores 300 years ago. We are tired. We are hungry. We are desperate. But this blood still runs in our veins. We are Bolivians. Mientras que respiremos, seremos libres. No weapon, no threat, no cartel can take that away from us. I look at your faces and I don't see cocaleros. I see warriors. I see resistant fighters. I see the seed of this freedom that we Bolivians hold so dear. We will oppose them. We will fight them everywhere. We will hunt their worst nightmares until one day they are forced to leave our sacred land. Today, I am not a cocalero. Today, I shall be called back Katari. And I take an oath to lead us, the rebels, to victory. Okay, right, that's Pat Katari, r rabble rousing, or rebel rousing, <laughs> whatever the case may be. Right, we've got a rebel mission, which is to trigger and protect that radio transmitter there. And I know that we are going to get all hell set loose at us. We need to get some reinforcements in, and I'm trying to remember how we summon those. Um, let me just have a look at the menu. Uh, options keyboard and mouse here we go um order wheel tab that's what i was looking for so if i tab it we can't get any rebel support at all at the moment we haven't unlocked any of the skills for doing it so what i want to do is i want to get my troops in a position let's Let's have my troops there. Go. Copy that. Right. Now, I really would like to have a road blockage down here somewhere. But I don't see any vehicles that I can do it with. I don't want to rob these locals. If I can avoid it. Um, Maybe we should keep the guns down. Make sure we don't scare anybody. Now that should start a roadblock. Good. We're going to defend the radio. Yeah, we got hostiles. Yeah. We put the hornet's nest. Engaging. Where did that shot come from? Did 
The emitter can't take much more. He's gone. We've got another car load coming in. Looks like they're coming in from down the hill. Yeah, I see them. Fall back, get some health. Ah, they got me. Come on, get me healed up. We've only got another 16 seconds to defend that radio. Fucking hell. Hello, get out. Message sent. The rebels are going to give Santa Blanca hell after this. Great, that means we can get mortar support now. And we want to probably get out of here. Our helicopter's up the hill over there. But we want to go check this location out. There's another helicopter there. Um, I'd like to get that location checked out. Get that skill point. Before the end of this episode. So let's quickly do that one. Where are we going? Way up there. Okay. Right. We'll leave the rebels to, to clean up this mess. We'll go and sort out whatever's up there. Oh, we need ammunition. Um, we got ammunition behind this house? Right, there's ammunition up the hill there, isn't there? Yeah. an ammo resupply there we go right now somehow we've got to get up there it's a pretty long run to get up there but shouldn't take too long that uh that radio transmission went a lot easier and smoother than I remember it in the past. Um, I remember in the past doing that and it took me seven or eight attempts in order to succeed at that. That was over a year ago. Maybe they've changed a few things, rebalanced it. Um, oh, looks like we're heading into an army post. Let's uh let's go see what the story is. We're gonna have to put the drone up here, I think. Enemy activity, stay sharp. Yeah. About that. Um Yeah, this definitely looks like an army post. So let's have the drone up. The drone is up. Yeah, it's a fairly open one though. It's not fully fenced. Got another tango. Sniper in the tower. The tower. There's more soldiers over there somewhere. I got a grunt with a submachine gun got yeah. near the food Spire. container. Yeah, we're gonna have to change the battery on the drone. Let's uh, get up a little bit closer. Try and get a bit more life out of the drone battery. I suspect the rest of the guys are in this building here. Yo tengo hasta sangre en los dedos, 
Just spotted one with submachine guns. There's another one in that tent. No. Oh. There's another one. That's ten. I think that's everybody now. Got it. Moving. Let me get a good sight line. Eyes on the target. Good to go. Right, we're going to have to take out these ones up the hill first. And I need to switch to my uh, sniper rifle. Oh, that's not so good. Oh, he's going to see me. It's coming towards dark, which might work in our favour. SLR. We're going to have to do an assault on this. I want the helicopter, so I can't afford the helicopter to get destroyed. That guy's history. We're cool, we're cool. That's him down. Sniper's down. Five or six left in this camp. Take it from above. Not a lot of cover here. Roger, target acquired. Say the word. You're gonna get me. Gotta hang back. There's one more down there. I don't know if that's the one away down at the road or if this one's in the camp. I think he's away down at the road. It's going to get pretty dark here, so I'll have to lighten the video up for you guys. Right, let's get in. Get those supplies tagged. Let's get that medal. Because that's a skill point. Supplies are in here. There they are, medical supplies. A whole bunch more supplies across here. More medical supplies. Ammunition. Let's restock our ammunition. One more set of supplies over here somewhere. Where are they? On the roof, maybe? Might be. Have a quick look up on the roof. Yeah, comm supplies. That just helps us to have the resources available to improve our skills. Metal. You're going to make me go all the way up the tower for it, aren't you? Yeah. I saw you sneaking in there. We're clear. Right, let's um, go steal that military helicopter. 
Um, sorry about my phone doing a buzz and squeak there. Oh, check the map. What else have we got to do? Oh, we've got to go back down to Pantoya. But no, we cleared Pantoya, didn't we? Yeah, because there's the rebels wandering around Pantoya. So we've still got this little unknown location down here. But I think what we'll actually do is we'll head across to Ataqua Bravo. Uh, we'll steal the helicopter, head across there. And we'll hold up there for the end of the episode. Especially as it's coming to night time now. And we'll wait for daylight and pick up the next episode when daylight arrives. Oh, there's some more supplies. Right, there's another set on each side of the pad up here. Um, my phone's going crazy, so I need to clear whatever's coming in on that. This is a good point to end the episode once we get across to attack by Bravo. Sure are a lot of lights and switches up here. I'm on. Let's go. There's nothing like successfully stealing an army helicopter to round off an episode, is there? Heading. Give me a clue. Must be directly below us. Yeah, there it is. Right. So there we go, another successful round of small missions in undermining El, U El Uri or La Uri and El Polito for totally destabilizing this province and removing Santa Blanca from them. We'll finish up the odds and sods on the map in the, uh, in the next episode. We've got to get that accessory case up there, scout out this town. Gotta come back, scout out this unknown location, get that weapon case, get that document, or Kingslayer file, get that skill point. Um, hopefully this helicopter will let us do all four of them before we lose it. There's an unknown location there to scout, side mission there, and a story mission there. We're going to need a chunky vehicle for that story mission. Um, that's the convoy one. But if we can get these outliers done so that we're in a position then to start focusing on the southeast of the province and get that cleared up, we should then be able to go for finishing off the, the story mission in this province. Join me for that. I'm Gazbeard. This is the Takwa province. It's Ghost Recon Wildlands, Vanilla. Thanks for being here. See you soon. Bye for now.